Hi guys, this is the end of it. I just um, put it back in boiling water again and let it soak and, and then I put some cold water on top of it to shock it. Um, I'll do that for the last time. This is after all of that happened. You can see that it shrank about 30%. Um, please be careful because the boiling water is very hot. So what I do at this point is um, I take my soap and I rub my hands with it and I just continue to, I, they call it palming. So I'm just rubbing the edges to make sure they're nice and strong and feeling anywhere. And the best thing to know your fibers is to just put your hands on this and, um, and rub it and make sure that it's all a hard fabric now. And the good thing about needle felting at first is it's already started felting. It's, you already started on the felting process before you even get to this point. Now, I can show you later about taking raw wool with strips of wool and um, putting it on a resist, which is like something like this in the middle, cut with a shape, and laying raw fibers on it and getting it wet, and then we flip it over, and then we get it wet, and we kind of form a layer, a bond over the whole thing and then we felt it that way and we roll it that way with the resistant side and it'll eventually get to something like this. Um, I like to needle felt first because it's already kind of halfway done for you and your design is already in there and um, you can see where there's any any spots that are thin and you need to fix before you even get to this point so there's no guessing. Um, so what I do is I rub it and I rub it and I turn it inside out and I Make sure there's no creases, no seams, no nothing. And this is the really fun part. Um, make sure it's, it's not dry, it's wet, and I have soap on my hands and I'm rubbing it. And if you see any parts that are like, you know, maybe this is a long piece right here, or long, it looks weird right here. Maybe you didn't felt it enough and you can just rub it and it'll shrink and bind right there. And that's how you fix little parts like that. Um, I did, um, opposite. So I started with my design here on my form, on my um, wool, when I was needle felting it, and then I put black over the top, and then I put, you know, three layers of black wool over the top, and then at the end I put another design on it, like a finishing design. So it's like, it's reversible. I mean, it's really nice. It's really nice. This came out really nice. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna soak it in hot water. I'm gonna rinse all the soap out of it because it's got a lot of soap. And then I'm gonna put a, probably a cap full or two of vinegar in there to get this, to correct the pH in it. So, because if you leave soap in it, it'll eventually break down. And you don't want the, your wool to break down. So, and then I'll, I'll put it on a form and it'll, it'll dry on a form. And I'll show you the form in a little bit, but I put it on there and it'll dry however you want it. If you want it to dry like this, um, that's fine. Or if you want it to, you know, dry with a little lip coming up, that's fine too. Or um, when it dries, you can also needle felt some designs on here or actually put a, you know, a rope on here that you actually spun. You know, I have a drop spindle and um, make some yarn with it and maybe braid it along here and make a really cool hat. Um, it's up to you, you know, you can do whatever, you, whatever, you know, and you can design your own things, and I think you need to, about making a scarf that matches this, but, but if you want to learn, um, it's really good just to experiment and try to do these things, um, and then, you know, eventually you'll get good at it and you'll enjoy it, so check out my website if you want to get a do-it-yourself kit, I have an easy kit that's like soap. So you just surround it with the wool I put in there and you rub it until it becomes this solid piece and it's, and it's really cool. So anyway, um, thank you for joining me and learning with me.